Hey guys, I just wanted to tell you how much I'm looking forward to worshiping with you this coming Sunday. I literally can't wait. I'm so excited to continue our discussion of this Jesus as we're in our Christmas series. We're building our, our building a Christology and each week we've been asking these questions about Jesus and this week we're asking a really important question. Is Jesus a way to God or is he the way to God? It's going to be a great time together. It's going to be a great discussion. And I hope that you're going to be connected. Now, you know that we gather in person at 9 a.m. and at 11 a.m. And I hope that you'll come out for that and that you'll help us in all of our efforts to maintain social distance and clean environments and be masked and everything so that we can do our part to help fight the spread of this virus that's still really hitting our community hard. But if you can't be in person, I want to encourage you to log on and participate through zoom now we still will have facebook live on the 11 o'clock and and that's great if you're just coming on to spectate to just watch but i'm really asking you not to just be a spectator i'm asking you to actually lean in and participate with us in the process of dialoguing and wrestling with what jesus says with the text and having spiritual conversations that's why we've been doing these table conversations we've been doing breakout rooms i know it can be a little awkward and a little uncomfortable but can you just hear me honestly just ask you sincerely ask you to step into this with us because here's what we think is happening. We will, I believe, I believe that the Holy Spirit is saying that it's time for us to take the content of the word and it not just be something that comes from me to you, but that we're able to put into your hands and let you wrestle with, let you look at it, let you have the discussion, these spiritual conversations to where it's more than just something that you observe but that you engage with. So that's why we've changed the formatting up on Sunday morning. That's why you're sitting at tables. That's why you're having discussions. That's why we're having breakout rooms on Zoom. And I know that the timing of all that has been a little bit wonky, like it's stretched us out and, and our, our gathering times have been a little bit, little bit longer. But in all of the things that we're working to improve, we're working to improve that. So I'm, I'm working on making sure that we're conscientious of your time and being respectful of your time. So. I'm hoping you're going to log on if you can't be there in person and you'll participate in a Zoom, uh, through Zoom, and we're going to send you that link. We'll post that link again this weekend. So just go on, register to say that you're going to be uh, connected through Zoom. Here's the other thing I'm really excited about. We're, we're providing virtual gatherings for our kids and our students. Like we recognize that we need to be equipping our kids and equipping our students. And so I'm super thankful for the folks that, with Dynamic. They've been, they've been walking with us since last September and now they're really stepping up. They've gotten really good at Zoom and um, they're gonna be helping us cultivate these environments for kids and students. So we've put, sent out a Google form and what we're asking parents of students and youth, would you fill out that form for yourself, for your kids, and let us know if you're going to be on one of our virtual gatherings. And what's going to happen is that's going to help us get set up and be able to designate specific spaces and gathering spaces, breakout rooms for students and for kids. I, I know this is a bit of a challenge for some, and this is not ideal for some, but for those of you that aren't comfortable in coming out and being in the public gathering, this is the best we can do, and we're working to make it the best we can be. And, and so, but we need your help. We need you to help us turn the corner as we're learning to adapt to this new way of doing church. And, and, and I'm just, I'm, I know my tendency and stuff like this is to drag my feet. Nah, I don't think I want to do that. And it's not all that, it's not my, it's not what I prefer. But what if the Holy Spirit is breathing on this moment for us? And he's saying, look, I don't care if you're in, person or if you're gathering online i'm calling you to stay connected to a body of believers i think that's what he's saying and so i'm hoping that you're going to log on that you're going to register that you're going to let us know and help us be ready for your kids your students and to be ready for you to join a virtual gathering on sunday We've been working hard this week. We've worked to improve Facebook live feed. We we're putting audio to the camera where you can actually hear what's happening in the room. We're doing one light, one camera feed. So you'll see the same video through Zoom that you'll see on Facebook. The difference with Zoom is that you're engaging. Facebook, you're spectating. So would you help us out? Would you register? Would you be prepared to, to either be connected through Facebook or be connected, I mean, be connected through Zoom or be connected in person? That's, that's the ideal.
All right. I love you guys. I can't wait to celebrate Jesus this coming Sunday as we worship and as we as we focus on this Jesus. I love you. I'll see you Sunday.